In this video, I will be teaching you guys how to use Last Cycle Pro. If you found this video useful, please leave a like, comment below, and subscribe if you're new. Last has two playstyles, one being aggressive and the other being defensive. I will be teaching you guys how to play both playstyles, starting with my skill tree. So with sheer skills, you want to have all of them. You will be using all of them besides like the dash buff. So I'm an aggressive player, so I like to use wild throw whenever I do use it. I don't use it that often, but whenever I do, I, I use it. For defensive play, use double kanai. This will allow you to run away and then do kanai. Here, this will allow you, my wild throw will allow you to throw multiple kanai. And this is really good with the Paralyzing Kanai. It's not that good with Aggressive Playstyle. This is like a PvP thing. My skills, I'll explain everything. I use Impact Slash because this has Knockdown and you don't move all over the place like Spinning Slash does. Fan of Fury is good because um, Grand Chase favors the one hit property. This will do more damage than Scorched Earth or even School of Binding. A lot of people switched to this because they found out that one hit mechanics are OP on this game. Just take a look at Lass's Striker 4 from P-Bar and take a look at like the best pets in the game. They're all one hit mechanic skills and pets. Lass's Big Shot was good at one time before he got nerfed. I use Shadows of the Past because this will allow the monsters to get knocked to the ground and it does a decent amount of damage. I use Venom Slice whenever I farm for like um, Wizards of Labyrinth for example. If I have multiple monsters I'll just use this skill instead of Shadows of the Past to do the most damage possible. So now I got my skills out of the way, let's go into a game. Okay, so I chose Ch Trail Forest because of my keybinds I can show you guys. So let's get into his basic combos that I use. I use Z, 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 Z. That's three Z's. You'll see him swing up. The reason why I do this over the last Z is because I can implement a dodge into it. So I'll be pressing Z, Z, up Z. And I'll just do a dodge. This is perfect for doing damage and dodging at the same time. Striker has a built in dodge, so you don't have to do a combo to do that. All you have to do is press Z up. Z up is really good to um, dodge faster and you don't have to do a combo. Next, I will show you guys his invisible skill. This is shared throughout all his jobs. This will allow the monsters, uh, this will allow you to go near monsters without them seeing you. You can go behind them, you can go in front of them, and you can get your damage in by doing your fourth bar, or any MP skill, or even basic attacks. Some monsters like in Wood Harrier, the mini bosses will see you regardless. I'm not sure if this is a, a bug or not, but um, I digress from that. So, if you're invisible, if you hit a monster, you automatically lose that ability. So, if you want to dodge, you see how you see my slash? If, if this hits a monster, my ability will automatically get canceled. But there is a way that you can bypass the um, Z up. If you press it faster, this will skip the slash animation and this will allow you to dodge and still keep your ability. So next, I'll be showing you guys how to use um, first job. First job is very simple. You will use this to be defensive and aggressive at the same time by running and pressing up, up, down, Z. Or just pressing up, up, down, Z. If you press Z two times, you will get the double kanai. If you press it once, you will only do one. If you want to get fancy, you can even um, do this to do Kanai faster. There is a wrong way to do it, but I've trained myself specifically not to mess up. 
So it'll probably like look like that. Like he won't be able to do the kunai if you do it too slow or at a real a weird angle. It's kinda hard. Oh yeah, while you don't kunai, if you press it down again, like double down, you'll go down faster. Next I will teach you guys how to do infinite slash and do air skills. So to infinite slash, you will have to press forward, and then forward plus up, and then you press down. He will start to slide like this. After that, you have to press Z. So basically a rocket jump, but you slide. This is a flash step, basically. Every character has this besides like Lei and Vegas and Lyri. So, infant slash. Do it once. It looks like this if you do it slow. I'm not too good at doing it slow. It'll look like that. And then you just repeat it fast. Oops. It'll look like that. I'm trying not to um key smash a lot. So I am using a different mic. Well, you get it. It's whenever you hit the ground, you want to press Z. And if you want to change direction, all you do is press forward, forward again without the Z. My favorite thing is to press forward, forward Z, and then do the infinite slash, and then turn around, because it's a lot easier to do, and it's hard. It's hardly noticeable that that you are doing a different input. You can only do this at the start of an infinite slash. Next, going into the air combos. Blaze Spirit and Shadows of the Path can't do it. And his four bars can't do it. Actually, never mind. You can do it with Shadows of the Past. I just did it just now. That's what it looks like. I've never tried it until now, actually, so that's funny. But I'm 100% sure Blaze Spirit can't do it unless I'm messing up the timing on that. So what you want to do is you want to press 4 and X to do the super jump. Then after that, you want to immediately hit your hotkey like Rage Coder or Phantom Blade or whatever key you want to do it. So it like this. You want to do it immediately. The moment you hit X, you want to press S for example. And if you do it wrong, Sometimes if you do it too fast, it will you will hear the jump skill, but you will do razor cutter like that. You will hear the rocket jump, uh, um, the super jump, but you will get the skill instead. So instead, just time the skill. Um, press S for example. You can either you can even do a double knight after you do a Phantom fury rocket jump. This isn't cheating or anything. You won't get banned from this. This is an actual skill that, oh, well, it's an actual technique that you learn. Not a lot of people know how to do it. Okay, so now that we learned every skill that I use, let's put this into gameplay. So like I said before, going invisible will not trigger the monsters. Only what here your certain mini bosses can see you. Pressing Z up. You see, they don't cancel it. But the moment I press Z up the slow way, they're all angry and aggro. So Z Z Z up Z to dodge. Get behind them and do your skill, kill them. I won't be playing through this whole dungeon because this is not a TOD guide or anything. This is how the views last. Second floor, go instantly invisible because you, you don't want them to see you. If you want, you can play more defensive now. The good thing about the, um, the lightning necklace is that you can actually see where 
monster going if the monsters get hit by it. See, Titan Fury does a lot of damage for a second bar. Go invisible because my fourth was about to come. And since I'm soloing, it's a lot easier to do it. I'm gonna use my pet first and then my fourth just to do the maximum amount of damage. Sometimes it's not recommended to do that though. Because just what happened, he can teleport out the way. So that's gonna be it for the tutorial. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in my next video.